Here's a yield to maturity problem where I am expressing the price as a percentage of par. And so the easiest way to proceed in this case is just to set the par value equal to 100 and let everything else flow through accordingly. And so we'll start there. So on our timeline, we're gonna have uh, a par value repayment out here at the end of 100. And we're gonna have a price of 105.2. Two. Now, how many periods are on this timeline? Well, we have nine years remaining until maturity, and so we're going to have semi-annual coupon payments. So we have nine times two is 18 ticks on the timeline. The remaining piece of the timeline is the payment, and the payment is uh, based on the coupon rate. So we have 6% of $100 is paid each year. So 6% of 100 is $6 per year. And since we are dealing with semi-annual coupon payments, that's going to be split into two payments of $3 each year. So we have threes here on our timeline. All right, so going to a financial calculator, the $100, since it occurs at the end of the timeline, that's FV. We'll make it positive since the bondholder receives it. $3 also received by the bondholder is the annuity payment, and that will be positive as well. 105.2, that occurs right now, and so the bondholder would pay that to receive the bond. So that's going to be PV since it's now, and it's going to be negative since the bondholder pays it. And then finally, 18 is going to go into N. And so we'll input all of these numbers into our financial calculator and solve for I. Now, since we have a semi-annual timeline, this I is going to be a semi-annual number. We like to report yield to maturities as annualized rates. And so we are going to double the answer and report that number. 